y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so i'm gonna be giving my predictions for survivor series this year um I'm not gonna lie to you the hype for survivor series has not been i guess you can say intriguing as you would think it should be um i you would think i would be as hyped for survivor series since this is one of wwe's main pay-per-views but i'm i'm not really unfortunately um i think i would have been a little bit more hyped and intrigued if they went with xavier wood's suggestion of having uh the men's uh survivor series match um you know have some stipulation to it where basically who whatever team loses they'll end up fighting for the first five spots in the uh, next year's royal rumble and whoever team wins they end up fighting for the last five spots in next year's royal rumble i think that would have been more intriguing just for the men's survivor series match alone but i just i really haven't been as invested like i thought i would be i haven't been as hyped but nevertheless there are some matches on here that i am interested in seeing how it plays out so we're gonna go through match by match and i'm gonna give my uh prediction on who will win um we got to start with the 25 man dual branded battle royale to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the rocks wwe debut if you saw me live on stream uh, uh for the smackdown stream when they announced it i was just like but why what what is the purpose of this match like this is not gonna elevate anyone who wins it oh like what the hell like oh you won the 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 rock <laughs> the rock royal match over the top royal match battle royal match that's cool congrats you know what you get a rock bottom from the rock himself like i don't i don't know like what does the winner of this get it doesn't do anything to their career other than they won the first ever like bro that's i was completely confused on that but apparently it's the people that are in it aj styles almost otis chad gable dolph ziggler robert Rude, sheldon benjamin cedric alexander apollo cruz commander aziz montez ford d'angelo dawkins r-truth T-Bar, Cesaro, Ricochet, Mansoor, Sami Zayn, uh, Angel, Humberto, Ginger Mahal, Shanky, Eric, Ivar, Drew Gulak. I don't know who's going to win. I don't care who wins. Uh, I don't care about this match. I don't. This is pre-show filler at best. Don't give a damn. So that's my preview and predictions. If this is on the main show, I'm going to be utterly bored out my mind. And I, I we do plan on watching it on the clutch page. So that will be our drinking slash water break slash food break slash whatever break because I don't care about that match. Anywho, on to the next match here. Uh, we got the United States champion Damian Priest versus the the uh, the Intercontinental champion uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm gonna get, ah, that's a good matchup on paper. Mm, I will probably give the win uh, to, uh, I'll probably give the win. I would actually like to give, I would, I would, I'm going to give the win to Damian Priest. I think that would be a nice win over Shinsuke. Even though Shinsuke is not really doing too much with the Intercontinental Championship. So you would think he could probably use a win here. But I'm going to probably give it to Damian Priest. Uh could build up his his reign as uh the united states champion the raw tag team champs randy orton and uh matt riddle uh versus uh the usos um you know what i can see the usos winning i can i can see the usos winning i think i'm gonna go with the usos winning i think the usos will win that match could be wrong but i think i just have a feeling that the usos they may book them to win the raw women's championship versus the smack women smackdown's women's champion uh well champion uh becky lynch versus uh charlotte flair that's another tough one i think they will have a good match potentially one of the matches of the night i do think they will have a good match ah i'm gonna have to give it 
give the slight edge. I can see Becky winning. I can see Becky winning. Maybe because of, you know, Charlotte's backstage antics or whatnot. But I can see Becky winning winning a match. I think they I think they're behind Becky on this in this situation when it comes to like who they they want at the top spot. Uh, clearly, the way they've been booking her since he's been back, I think Becky's gonna win that match. Um, then we also have um, the uh, WWE Champion versus uh, the Universal Champion Big E versus Roman Reigns. Um, to be honest here. I think Big E's going to win. I know it's crazy, but I just think from a booking standpoint, you can have Roman lose in this situation because he doesn't lose the title. He hasn't been pinned in quite some time. Last year when he was going against Drew, we knew that Drew wasn't going to win that match, but they still put on a hell of a match. This one, I think Big E needs it. I think he... He needs to win over the Universal Champion just so the WWE Championship can look that much better. That's just my personal opinion. I know Roman shouldn't be taking any losses, but I think he could take a loss like this. It will probably, if he does take a loss, it won't be a clean loss. It will be a loss because maybe Brock Lesnar shows up or for whatever reason, that this would be a surprise if The Rock showed up. I doubt that he does, but, you know, granted they are doing... His 25th uh, anniversary of uh, showing up in the WWE, showing up at Survivor Series. It, maybe that's how he loses his first match. He still has the title, but he loses his first match in quite some time. So, I'm going with Big E. I think Big E can pull this off. I hope they do do him uh, some justice and, and uh, book him to win. So, it won't be clean, but I do think Big E will uh, win the match. Then we got the... Uh, five on five traditional Survivor Series elimination match: Team Raw, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Carmella, Queen Zelina Vega, and and the WWE Tag Team Champion uh, Rhea Ripley versus Team SmackDown: Sasha, uh, Sasha Banks, Shotzi, uh, Natalia, Shayna Baszler, Tony Storm. I am going with. Hmm. That is a tough one. On paper, it should be SmackDown. I'm just being honest. I feel like any team that has Shayna Baszler on paper should win, but they haven't really been utilizing Shayna Baszler like they should. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give this to... I'm going to give this to Raw. I think Raw will pull it out. I think they will. I think Raw will pull it out. That's just just my opinion there. I do think Raw will probably pull it out on the women's side of things. And then for the men's traditional Survivor Series elimination match, you got Bobby Lashley, Austin Theory, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Xavier Woods, and uh, Happy Baron Corbin and Sheamus. Huh. This one, I wish there was a stipulation behind this. I wish there was a stipulation behind the, win behind the women's match as well. Um... I'm going to have to go ahead and say I'm leaning towards SmackDown on this. I really am. I am definitely leaning towards SmackDown on this. So, um, I'll probably go with, I think SmackDown is going to win it. I think SmackDown is going to win uh, this year's men's Survivor Series elimination match. That's And that's my predictions for this entire card. Unfortunately, I just, it's been very lackluster. I do think there will be some good matches on this, on this pay-per-view, but the build for it has been pretty boring. Just running the mills, not really much excitement about it other than the Universal Champion versus the WWE Champion. Obviously, Kofi being injured because of, of the Usos and Roman, then uh, Xavier having his issues with Roman and the Usos, and then Big E coming to SmackDown to handle up on the Usos and and Roman, and then you know of course the Usos been going to SmackDown or to Raw causing issues. I think that will be good. I think that's going to be a, a, a pretty fun match, and uh, I'm still sticking with my uh, with my gut here. I, I'm 
I'm wanting Big E to win, so I'm going to go for Big E here in the situation because he could use a win like this. But I wouldn't be surprised if they go the route of having uh, having Roman win. So, But I'm still sticking with my, my pick. So I wish the build was better. I wish these matches meant a little bit more. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So comment down below. Let me know what are y'all predictions for uh these ma for the for these matches for survivor series and are you guys gonna check out survivor series uh, i know we are we'll probably either do it on the clutch gone roll page or on the inner clutch main page so we'll let you guys know ahead of time but we will be doing a live stream reaction so i would like y'all thoughts and opinions on these matches and who y'all feel is gonna win and why appreciate all of the support roll to 70k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace